Hi, my name is Howard Kintz. I'm with Apex Plumbing. Today we're going to do a little video about a water heater failure that we see sometimes. And what it seems to be is the bulging of the tank. So um, what, what can happen with these water heaters is we have these thermal expansion tanks right here. I know it's behind the flue and it's hard to see, but when those fail, <clears throat> there's nowhere for the heated water to expand to, especially in our city where we have a double check valve at the meter. So the first thing you can do to check this is you kind of give it a tap and it's very solid. It's like it's full of water, like a watermelon instead of a hollow sound. And the other thing you can do is you can push on this um, air inlet or outlet and see if it's got water in it. Um, let me get over here, sorry. And you push on it and water sprays out. That should be air that's coming out. So that's failed. And when that fails, like I said, as it heats up, there's nowhere for it to go. And so it bulges the tank. Look at these two uh, pipe nipples, the inlet and the outlet. They're tilted together at a crazy angle. And then the other thing that you can see is usually the top of the tank sticks up, the flue, the uh, center part of the flue sticks up an inch and it's already sunken down in there. And then the last thing you can do is you can, we've already done it, we pulled the burner out and you can see the tank, how it's really crazy bulged um, down there. It'll take a little bit of doing, but we can show you that. should be a nice um, concave shape up there and it's pushing down. Now this water heater isn't that old. If you look at the um, serial number on it, it, um, it says it's, uh, just a second here, a 2019, so it's about five years old. And so it hasn't even uh, expired. The manufacturer's warranty on these are six years old. So we've got to replace it. And we'll, the biggest thing we've got to replace the thermal expansion tank. One thing I should mention, we already checked it, is the incoming pressure for the house is at 50 PSI. That's great. If the pressure reducing valve had failed, the pressure regulator, we would expect to see closer to 100 and then that could have caused the tank to um, fail. That's not the case in this case. This just failed and then it caused the water heater to fail. Thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe to our channel.